hello everyone how to simplify this nice algebraic expression without using the calculator so if we have 4 to the power of 9 minus 1 to the power of 9 now we write this nice algebraic expression into the simplified form but here calculator is not allowed so it means that we will show all of the working on this paper or we need uh, working uh, on our head so uh, the very first thing we are going to do is first we rewrite this algebraic expression as in this form you see here this is 4 to the power of 9 we write this 9 as 3 multiplied by 3 minus here we write this term as 3 multiplied by 3 and now we use here the exponent law you know that if we have a to the power of m multiplied by n we write it as a to the power of m to the power of n so according to this exponent law uh, we need to uh, rewrite this expression as in this form so here uh, we move this 1 3 uh, to inside uh, the 4 and we write it as 4 cubed and it's a whole cubed minus we write this term as 1 cubed and it's a whole cubed and now after that we will apply here the nice cubic formula you know that if we have a cubed minus b cubed it is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square uh, so here further we uh, we apply this nice formula to the above expression so that our above expression is written as this is a minus b here our a is 4 cubed and our b is 1 cubed so it will be written as 4 cubed minus 1 cubed into this is a square plus a b so here uh, we have this is this a, a square is uh, here over a is 4 cubed so we write it as 4 cubed and it's a whole square plus a b again a is 4 cubed b is 1 cubed plus b square so b is 1 cubed and it's a whole square so further we need more simplifications and now here you see that we first find uh, the cube of 4 so you know that 4 cubed equals to 64 minus 1 cubed equals to 1 similarly here again 4 cubed equals to 64 and its whole square plus this will be written as 64 and multiplied by 1 cubed 1 cubed equals to 1 and this 1 cube also equals to 1 and 1 square again equals to 1 so now here we need uh, more simplifications here so you see that this is 64 minus 1 becomes here 63 multiplied by this is 64 square plus 64 times of 1 becomes 64 plus 1 and now here further uh, we need to focus on this 64 square so first we find uh, the square of this 64 uh, and you very well know about the uh, meaning of 64 square is that we will multiply 64 with 64 and now here where we break the 64 and we write a 64 as in this form this is 64 times of uh, we break the 64 as 60 plus 4 and now here uh, we multiply this 64 on both of these values and it will be written as 64 multiplied by 60 plus uh, 64 multiplied by 4 and now here in the next step uh, we need to multiply the 64 with 60 without using the calculator so here we consider this is two digit number and this is our one digit number and when you multiply this 0 with 64 we will get here 0 when you multiply this 6 with 64 we will get here 6 times 4 becomes 24 we write 4 and carry 2 so 6 6 is 36 36 plus 2 becomes here 38 so it means that 64 times of 60 equals to 3840 plus here we multiply 4 times of 64 you see that 4 times of 4 becomes 16 we write 6 and carry 1 4 times of 6 becomes 64 and 64 plus 1 is 60 25 so we have this is 256 so now uh, here we need to add these two values so you see here 0 plus 6 becomes 6 4 plus 5 becomes 9, 8 plus 2 becomes 10, we write 0 and carry 1, 3 plus 1 becomes 4. So we get here a 64 square equals to 4096. So now we replace this 64 uh, on this value here. 
so we put uh, the value of 64 square here and we need more simplifications okay uh, so when you substitute this value of 64 here our above expression is written as this is 63 times of uh, 64 square and 64 square equals to 4096 plus 64 and plus 1 so here we need uh, more simplifications and we write it as this is 63 times of uh, this is 4096 plus 64 plus 1 becomes here 65 and now here first we need to sum up these two values uh, so here you see that 63 times of uh, we add these two values so 6 plus 5 becomes 11 we write 1 and carry 1 9 plus 6 becomes here 15 15 plus 1 is 16 we write 6 and carry 1 so 1 plus 0 becomes 1 and this is our 4 so when you sum up these two values we will get here 4161 and now in the next step we need to multiply these two values without using the calculator so here first we write this is 4161 and this is 63 we write this 63 as 60 plus 3 and now we multiply this 4161 to both of these values and it will be written as 4161 multiplied by 60 plus 4161 multiplied by 3 so here you see that this is two digit number and this is our one digit number so when we multiply this zero with this complete number we will get here zero and we multiply 6 with all of these numbers so we get here 6 1s are 6 6 6 are 36 uh, we write 6 and carry 3 6 1s are 6 plus 3 becomes 9 and 6 4s are 24 so you get here 24 96 and 6 0 plus we multiply this 3 with these two numbers so you get here 3 1s are 3 3 6 are 18 we write 8 and carry 1 3 1s are 3 plus 1 is 4, 3 4s are 12. So further uh, we need to add these two values <clears throat> and now you have 0 plus 3 becomes here 3, 6 plus 8 becomes 14, we write 4 and carry 1, so 6 plus 4 is 10, 10 plus 1 is 11, we write 1 and carry 1, 9 plus 1 is 10, 10 plus 2 is 12, we write 2 and carry 1, 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 plus 1 becomes 6 and this is our 2. So you get here 2, 6, 2, 1 and 4, 3. Uh, so this is the our final answer of the given expression that is 4 to the power of 9 minus 1 to the power of 9 equals to 2, 6, 2, 1 and 4, 3. This is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.